Hi, this is Rocky Lou. I am going to be doing a small screencast to the tutorial on how to add something to a GIF um, using Photoshop CS5. So this is a full version of Photoshop. It's an older one. I'm going to show you how to add. So here's our original piece that we're looking at, our original picture. And what we're going to do is we're going to add Colin Dog here. And there's our little guy. Uh, one of the things to know is that we this is an animated GIF. Well, let's watch it. We have our mushrooms spinning here. We have the Cheshire Cat going. And we have smoke rising. Let's see, it's in animation mode. Take us back to layer one. How this works is, you, you first of all, you have this Propagate Frame 1 selected. If we scroll down, we see that layer 0, there's one layer, and then that is our background layer. Always when we make changes, we make it using this first animation frame, since everything we change in here will automatically be updated in all of the others. Let's show you. I will turn that off. Now I will play it and you see that that background is gone. There's no merging or unmerging of anything, which is really nice, like some of the I was having to do with Photoshop elements. Take it back to number one, turn it on, and you will see that it's all there. Let's stop that, bring it back to the beginning. Now what we're going to do is we are going to add Mr. Colin Dog. This is a picture that was taken by Alan Levine of Mariana Funes, her little doggy Colin. I come over here and I take my selection tool. I right click. I can use a quick selection or I can use a magic wand. I'm going to use the quick selection tool. Go over here, capture his little tail. I know that after playing with this that I want some of the grass here because that's going to help me to blend it a little bit better. Let's get our little doggy ears, get his little stick. But I don't want too much grass and I don't want to have to mess around with this tail. So I go up and I click on minus. Of the, these are the tool options. I have new, add, and subtract. I will subtract some of this. Keep a little bit there though. Subtract around in between his tail. I know there's this little bump here from the grass, so I'm going to get rid of that. Let's only have his stick and not the rest of the stuff. Okay. And we don't want this around. We want that a little bit closer. But like I said, I do want some of the stuff in the front of him. Let's say that I had messed up somewhere and I wanted to change it. I can add a little bit more. So I want to get a little bit more of his stick on there. We'll get that going out like that. And that looks pretty good. Maybe a little minus on his mouth. Let me get that a little bit better. Yeah, I like that better. And maybe a little bit of subtraction right there. Okay, that's good enough. Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Add a little bit more grass in the front. And perhaps a little more right back here. Not too much though. So then I go Control C. So that's going to copy this out. Control C. Return to my original photo. Again, making sure that I'm in animation frame number one. There's Colin Dog. Oh, but he's very big. And I want to put him also at the bottom of the stack so that anything that happens to be there will be behind him. We have him selected where you want to shrink him down. Now I want this to be in relation, so I want to keep the aspect ratio the same. I click here on that little thing, and that will maintain the aspect ratio. And I shrink him down. Still a little too big. And still want him a little bit smaller there. 
Okay, that looks pretty good. Use not too big. Go up here and select that you want to uh, commit to your transform. You can also just hit return. Now he is there. I don't like having that uh, bounding box, so I'm going to select that so I can see it. Let's zoom in. You can see that here's our little guy, and that's you know, you can definitely tell it's been photoshopped in there. I mean, anything on here is going to show that it's photoshopped, but that it's square. So what we're going to do is use a few different tools now. I'm going to come over to this tool here, which is currently set on the smudge tool. I'm going to use the blur tool first. Make sure that Colin is the one that's selected. He was under layer one. And I am going to just kind of blur some of that out. It looks a little bit better now, kind of like more like the background. And this is the fun tool. Now I left click, right click again, and I go to the smudge tool. And what happens is I can just kind of smudge this out and make it look not so even. Yeah, just kind of smudge it out like that. And then we're going to blend it even a little bit more than this. I'm going to come over here to what's called the burn tool. Right click again and I have dodge, burn, and sponge. And I'm going to use the burn tool. But I'm going to use it on the very first layer. And what that'll do, yeah, I add that darkened there. So it makes it blend a little bit more than what we had. Kind of blend into the other picture. When we zoom out, we have Colin looking a little bit better, but it looks like maybe I might want to smudge that a little bit more. I'll go back to the Colin dog, make sure that I have the smudge tool on. And I'll just kind of bring that maybe out a little bit more. And it kind of looks like he's in the grass here. There we go. We do a save. And then when we want to save it, so let, let's look at it. Here you have the GIF moving, and there is Mr. Colin Dog. If I come back to one again and I delete Colin, you will see that he is deleted in all of the frames. And there we have it. We have our complete completed GIF with Colin Dog.